le opere di Dio sono così e nascono che sembrano perdenti tra mille più sconfitte si fa strada la detta Daniel Comboni was born in Limone on Lake Garda, Italy on the 15th of March 1831 to Luigi Comboni and Domenica Pace his parents had eight children the fourth of whom was Daniel all Daniel's brothers died prematurely and he was the only survivor at the age of 11 his parents sent him to Verona to the boarding school of Father Nicola Mazza at the age of 16 Comboni made an oath to dedicate his life to the mission of Central Africa at the age of 23 he was ordained a priest sabia, sabia, sabia. On the 10th of September 1857, Comboni was part of a missionary expedition to the Sudan. He and his companions took four months to reach Khartoum via the Nile and the desert. On the 14th of February 1858, they arrived at the mission of Holy Cross, south of Khartoum. Soon difficulties began. On the 25th of March 1858, Father Francesco Oliboni died at Holy Cross. Before he died, he asked his companions not to abandon the mission. Comboni renewed his promise to dedicate himself to the Africans and his motto since that moment was Negritia or death. The first experience in Africa turned out to be a real failure. Death, disease, hunger, slavery and many other difficulties. A year after their arrival, the missionaries were forced to leave the mission of Holy Cross and return to Italy. Comboni continues to reflect on the mission. He sees that the European missionary in Central Africa dies and that the African brought to Europe loses his roots. What could be done? On the 15th of September 1864, while praying at St. Peter's tomb, he felt inspired and wrote his plan for the regeneration of Africa. The basic idea of the plan is to save Africa through Africa. He presented the plan to Cardinal Barnabo, Prefect of the Sacred Congregation of Propaganda Fide and to Pope Pius IX. Considering the breadth and depth of the plan, the Cardinal himself advised Comboni to establish a missionary institute. On the 1st of June 1867, Comboni founded the Institute for African Missions, known today as the Comboni Missionaries. On the 29th of November 1867, he sailed from Marseille to Cairo with three chameleons, three sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition and 16 African girls. In Cairo, he began two institutes male and female, to prepare the missionary personnel physically and experientially before proceeding to Central Africa. In March 1870, Comboni participated in the First Vatican Council as the theologian of the Bishop of Verona, Luigi of Canossa. Comboni wanted to speak to the bishops about the African reality so that the whole church could take responsibility for this mission. Unfortunately, because of the war, the council was suspended. Based on his long missionary experience and knowledge of African cultures, Comboni knew that without the sisters, the mission in Central Africa would fail. And so, on the 1st of January 1872, he founded the Institute of the Pious Mothers of Nigritia, Comboni Missionary Sisters, in Verona. In the same year, he also founded the first missionary magazine in Italy, Anali del Buon Pastore, later called Nigritia. Oh! 
Africa lontana apri le braccia noi vivremo moriremo insieme On the 2nd of July 1877 Comboni was appointed Apostolic Vicar of Central Africa and on the 12th of August he came to Rome for his episcopal consecration On the 15th of December he sailed from Naples with three priests six brothers and five Comboni missionary sisters they were the first their names are Teresa Grigolini Marietta Caspi Maria Giuseppa Scandola Vittoria Paganini and Concetta Corsi The following year 1878 there was a great famine throughout the mission area in addition The last religious sisters of St Joseph of the Apparition withdrew from Khartoum because of the many difficulties the mission presented. These sisters had worked with Comboni for 12 years. In 1879, he organized two new missionary expeditions to Africa with priests, lay people and religious. A year had not passed when Sister Maria Bertuzzi died in El Obeid, Sudan. She was the first Comboni missionary sister to die in Africa. She was just 21 years old. Daniel Comboni crossed the desert eight times in his life. His missionary spirit and his ability to communicate allowed him to be always on the move. by sea, train, camel, canoe and on foot. In July 1881, Comboni leaves again for Khartoum to meet the governor of the region and to propose a plan for the slave trade in the Nuba region. He arrived in Khartoum very ill. In September, October 1881, a tragic moment for the mission begins. Many missionaries died in a short time of yellow fever and typhus. There was not enough food and water was scarce. On the 5th of October, Comboni took ill with a violent fever and a few days later, on the 9th of October, his vicar general, Father Fraccaro, died. Comboni was exhausted by illness and moral suffering. He did not recover from his illness and on the 10th of October he fell into a coma. A small group of his missionaries together with the Comboni sisters accompanied him in his last hours while he repeated in a weak and broken voice, "My Jesus, have mercy on me." At 10 in the evening On October the 10th, Daniel Comboni died. He was just 50 years old. In his last letter of the 4th of October 1881 to Father Giuseppe Sembianti, Comboni wrote, "Let whatever God wills happen. God never abandons those who trust in him. He is the protector of innocence and the victor of justice." I am happy on the cross which carried willingly for the love of God generates triumph and eternal life I die but my work will not die Africa, Africa, mi vida il cuore. Comboni was beatified on the 17th of March 1996 by St John Paul II He was canonized on the 5th of October 2003 by the same pope his feast is celebrated on the 10th of October Africa Africa posso morire ma la mia opera non morirà Africa 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 Song